Hello DIYers. I'm starting a new short video series on Terry's Tool Tips. It's a series where I'll show you new tools, how to use some existing tools, and I'll give you some other tips of the trade. Now I've got a buddy that always comes to me when he's got a issue or needs to learn a new skill or how to use a tool. So when we come back I'll introduce you to Cletus. Welcome back. So, hello Cletus. Say hello to my viewers out there and tell us what you're working on today. Hi again. So what I got going here is I made this box from a single gang into two gang. Now I got to put another switch in here and I got to make a splash in, in the hot wires. Make a pigtail splash, but every time I do one of them pigtail splashes, it never turns out very good. Can you show me how to do one right? I appreciate it. All right, Cletus, I'll just get you to step aside and let me show you how to make a good pigtail splice. So here are your two conductors, hot wire in, hot wire out going to the three-way switch here. Now we're adding another switch. So we need another hot in this pigtail splice. So here's our pigtail, little chunk of wire, eight, 10 inches long. Strip them all. Here's a mistake that a lot of people make is not stripping them quite long enough. So make them long because you can always cut a little off. So line them all up like that. Take your lineman pliers, bull nose lineman plier, and gently, don't squeeze on them hard, just gently get them all twisting together evenly. Now, an electrical splice should be as mechanically and electrically sound as the original conductor. So we've got those twisted together now gently, but yet tight. Now we want to snip that off so they're even. You can finish by just straightening them out again with the plier. Now you're ready for your morette your wire nut. So you see that's already nice and tight. That splice is going to work regardless of having the wire connector on, but this is what gives you your insulation and adds to the strength of the splice. So I like to spin that on as tight as I can by hand. Then I use my pliers even and just give it a couple turns until you're sure that that wire nut is good and tight. And then I always tug test. Make sure you pull on each conductor individually and make sure they're not going to pop out of that splice. And there you have a good pigtail splice. So watch for more Terry's Tool Tips where I'll show you a new tool, how to use an old tool, or give you some other tips and skills to help you become a better weekend wiring warrior. Please don't forget to drop a like on this video. I'd appreciate that so much. Subscribe to my channel. Click on that notification bell and hey, leave a comment below or ask a question and I'll get to it just as soon as possible. So again, thanks for watching. Terry Peterman, the Internet Electrician.